Question number four for part D, long answer uh, questions. Hazel is a freelancer photographer. She's a, she is home-based and travels to photo shoots with clients. Hazel has set up a wireless uh, local area network connection, so a LAN at home, which she uses with members of her family. Explain two benefits to Hazel and her family of using a LAN. Remember, a LAN, there's LAN, there is, and this might as well put these in, there's PAN, and there's WAN, local area network private area network and wide area network. So let me remove these and go to the answers. Here are some of the benefits. Uh, can share peripherals, example printers, which reduces purchase costs uh, better for the environment. If she has a LAN, she can connect that one printer to the Wi-Fi network, for example, and everyone will be able to print to that same printer. So they each don't have to buy a printer to have in their rooms and it's better for the environment. You're buying less stuff when a printer eventually does break. You're throwing away less stuff. You're throwing away one printer versus four. If it's a family of four, uh, you can share file software applications between devices without the need to use external methods. Example, email, external storage devices. That's true again, because you have everything on the same network. I can actually transfer files from my Xbox to my PC without any memory stick or hard drive. I can transfer it from my laptop to my desktop without any memory stick or hard drive because we're all connected to the same network. Once I allow my devices to be shared on the network, it's very, 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 very simple and straightforward. Improve security because it is centralized. So you know if something needs to be switched off, you know the main thing that needs to be switched off is the router, the, the, the modem, the thing that gives you internet. If you have a ransomware and you need to disconnect from the, in, the, from the internet straight away before it gets any worse, you disconnect that one device and everything goes down. Can connect mobile devices to the internet via the LAN, reducing the need for cellular data. When you get home, you typically jump onto your Wi-Fi and stop using your mobile data that's going to cost you a lot less. I only pay £10 a month for my data because I don't need more. At work, I have Wi-Fi most of the time, and at home, I have Wi-Fi, so I don't need to pay for unlimited data. So those are your answers there. Do not accept firewall on its own. Other members of the family sometimes use Hazel's laptop. Hazel must keep client data stored on her laptop secure. Explain two methods Hazel could use to prevent family members accessing client data on her laptop. Now, they've made it clear that sometimes people use it, so we have to stick within that realm. If they said that people are not supposed to use it, then we can start thinking of physical methods of blocking people from using it, like locking it in a cupboard or having a password on the account so no one can access it, but they've said people can or people should be able to use it. The first one says set up access levels, separate user accounts, usernames and passwords, so individual family members are restricted from accessing Hazel's user area. So some of you at home might have one desktop PC in a front room, you have mom's account, dad's account, and your account, and no one else can access anyone else's account unless they have a user username and password. So Hazel will have to do this. And even though there's only one hard drive or SSD in that PC, other people will be blocked off from sections of that hard drive or SSD. So she can also password protect files or data so that unauthorized uh, users cannot open or access client files. Only Hazel can op open or access them. So you could just have a folder on your desktop or in your documents, wherever, with a password on there. So even if people try to click on it, the first thing it will do, it will pop up saying, please enter password. And if you don't enter the password correctly, then you're not able to actually go into the folder and view anything. That's it. You can also encrypt files so, all the, so only Hazel can decrypt them with a key. So sometimes you can buy these memory stick looking things which are decryption keys, hardware decryption keys. You could, it's more or less the same as password protecting, but encrypting it is slightly different. But essentially, think of it as plugging in a memory stick to decrypt it, and only you will have that key to decrypt it, no one else. So these are the options that you could use for that question there.